Hello, guys, and welcome to another episode of Travel Tea Tuesday, where we share the latest travel news, the latest travel promos, latest travel advisories, and any emails that I find really, really interesting that I think that you guys should know about. So let's go ahead and jump right on in here. Let's take a peek at some of these travel advisories and see exactly what is going on. So let's see. I don't know what's going on. All right. So last week was the 30th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we actually have a few of them. So right here, um, we have Taiwan. So over in Taiwan, um, it has increased to a level one. Um, over here, we have Guinea. Uh, reconsider travel. Um, Lebanon, do not travel. Israel, other. Um, Lib Libya, do not travel. Kazakhstan, exercise normal caution. Bangladesh, do not travel. And Parla, uh, exercise normal caution. So as of course, if you guys have any clients that are um, heading to any of these areas, um, I would say, um, yeah, do your research and let them know exactly what's going on because they're going to have questions. Um, if you guys hear any noise and stuff in the background, uh, we have made it here to uh, Sandals uh, in Jamaica, and we're going to be doing full-on property inspections. So um, make sure you stay tuned on our Facebook page, Mommy and We Travel. I've already made one video of the room, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't wait to um, show you guys more on how to sell Sandals and Beaches Resorts better um, as we will be visiting both of those. So, um, yeah, I figured I'll let you guys know because it may, you know, have some noise in the background. But let's keep going. Um, we always like to talk about some positive travel news, and so I actually found this one. So on August 9th, 1173, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, they started working on it in, um, on August 9th, 1173. So have you guys had any clients that have went to see Pisa? Have you went to see Pisa? Um, I have been to Italy, and I did not go see the Leaning Tower of Pisa uh, we were not there long, but trust me, when we go back, that is on my list to go see, all right? So let's keep on going. Let's talk about some travel news, okay? Um, the first one that I found over here, it was saying Tropical Storm Debbie to impact carnival sellings from Charleston. Y'all, I'm going to tell my personal story because it was a little bit raggy, okay? Um, so uh, originally, today's August the 6th, my flight was supposed to be from Tampa to Miami, and then from Miami to over here to Montego Bay. Well, last night, literally at 8 o'clock at night, American Airlines canceled my flight uh, from Tampa to Miami. But the flight was still, the flight for Miami to Montego Bay was still good. So um, I called them and I'm like, hey, um, they said it was due to weather reasons. So I guess, um, I guess my flight that was supposed to be leaving, you know, early on Tuesday. Wherever it's, wherever, wherever it was supposed to be coming from, it didn't make it because of, you know, the, the um, weather situation with the storm. So I was not even done packing, y'all. I was playing around, packing light, just packing like little stuff. Once I realized that literally I packed in 30 minutes and I was on the next flight out of Temple, which was at like 1045 at night. So I'm just really glad that I had a chance to check the email when I did check it, but yeah, uh, that storm, I'm pretty sure it's causing a lot more cancellations than just mine because the wait on um, for American Airlines, it was like an hour and a half. It was very, very, very long, but um, they did fix it. And, um, yeah, I have to wait until I'm done traveling to request a refund for that Tampa to Miami portion, all right? So that's, that's my spill on, you know, being um, impacted by Tropical Storm Debbie. Um, but it says uh, – Impact selling from Charleston. So let's see. So guests were planning to board Carnival Sunshine to embark on the Bahamas cruise on August the 8th, which is uh, coming up. They want to um, pay close attention to their emails and text messages. So this has happened to us as well. It may still sell. It may not sell. I really hope it's able to sell. Um, if you guys don't know, boats, they have, um, they move at um, more knots than a storm ever could. But um, I really, really hope that this boat is able to get out there safely. And if you have any clients that are um, on, going on um, any of these boats that are out of Charleston, um, yeah, they may have some questions for you. They honestly may. Um, it was saying over here, some boats from August the 10th, um, um, they, assuming everything goes to plan, they have more for August the 10th. 
Carnival Paradise was delayed. Uh, yep, it was delayed on the 5th. Um, so, yeah, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. I saw this over here. It says CDC um, issues new rules for dog travel and fight against rabies. So, yeah, I think this is smart. I never knew that it wasn't, you know, a thing to, so I guess, let, let's see. Uh, if you're traveling from countries deemed to be high risk for rabies, this includes Belize, Guatemala, Israel, Peru, Qatar, Turkey, and South Africa. Additional steps must be taken apart from the restriction of age, microchip, and parents of good health. Um, in the scenario, the dog um, import form is valid for one entry, and if the dog is less than a year old but still must um, but still must be older than six months old, its photo should be taken 15 days before travel. So I think that this is smart. Um, yeah, I think that's really smart. I'm glad they did it. I just honestly thought it was a thing already. All right, let's keep it going. Over here it says, Delta to pause flights between New York and J New York JFK and Tel Aviv. Um, but they're not the only ones. They're pausing flights until August the 31st. You guys, all through my, throughout my new um, news feed, I've been seeing um, countries warning their uh, their people from traveling all the way over there because a lot is going on. Um, because they're issuing travel waivers and refunds. Um, if you booked your flight before September 10th, um, December, no, December 31st was so previous cut off from customers. To make changes, okay. So yeah, um, Delta is definitely not flying to Tel Aviv through August the thirty first, right? I got some good news over here. Look, I know we got some frontier haters and some spirit haters out there, but um, would y'all still hate them if y'all won a million frontier miles? <laughs> so it says Frontier Airlines offers a million frontier miles to one lucky winner. So enter now. So this literally came out today. And so it says, um, the Who Wants to Be in Miles Marina sweepstake kicks off today with entries until 11.59, um, Thursday, August the 8th. So let's see. I guess you just go on their website. Go on their website and it's there. Listen, I hope one of us wins. That, that would be something, wouldn't it? Frontier goes a lot of different places, you know, but some people hate them because they are budget airlines. But, um, yeah, a million miles? Woo! You know the places you can go with a million miles? Man, I wish I could win a million miles. I think I'm, I'm going to apply. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. So if y'all know me, y'all y'all know I like Harry Potter. Listen, I love me some Harry Potter. I've been watching it since it first came out. I will sit there and watch the whole series, but I love Harry Potter. So it says, new Harry Potter theme park announced for 2025. So I wonder where is it going to be at? Um, um, uh. The uh, Ministry of Magic. Where is it? Okay, as a part of Universal Orlando theme park. Okay, so it's gonna be in Orlando. I love it. Ooh, look y'all. I'm, I'm I'm gonna play it. Hold on, with it. Anything you've ever experienced before. In the wizarding world of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, you'll explore multiple eras of magical thrills and wonder. They're very this looks like so much fun. It's a whole six minute video. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but y'all wanna go to go see Harry Potter with us? <laughs> y'all, I love Harry Potter. Y'all know that new movie is coming out uh, in 2025. I will be right there in the theater for the for the opening. I love this. I love this. All right, let's keep going. All right, so let's hop into these travel emails. And so the first travel email that I got was over here. It was saying that the Serenade of the Seas, um, seller from Cartagena, Colombia, it is now open for booking. Okay, so this is super, super cool. Um, so they have a full schedule here. All right, um, let's keep on going. All right, next email is going to come from Delta. So Delta sent out an email with their learning opportunity um, or training webinar. And so they had one today. The next one that's coming up is on um, August the 8th, and it is Loma's Hospitality. That's at 3 p.m. Eastern. Over here they have one on August the 15th. This August the 15th is um, unveiling the thrill experience for Kia Principe. 
All right, August the 20th, Paris Marriott. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Paris Marriott International Hotels. August 22nd, Discover the Wonders of Hotel Express. Um, that's a nice one. Um, Paradise Found, Marriott International Caribbean and Latin America Premium Resorts. I like that. And then over here, Hotel Rio Bavaro, right? New Gym and Punta Cana. And that is for August the 29th. So you guys just jump on over to your um, Delta portal. Just go to, um, I believe it's training or webinars tab. It's right there up front, and you'll see it. Let's keep going. All right, that was that serenade of the seas one. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right. So I saw this one from Patagonia, Las Torres. So um, they have a webinar that is coming up on August the 8th, right? So if you guys have any clients that are interested in Patagonia, this is for Hotel Las Torres, Patagonia, okay? So give them a quick Google, um, or you can go to the Emerging Destination um, Travel Agent Portal to get that link. All right. Next email is going to come from our amazing celebrity media, Ms. Taylor. All right. So let's see what incentives they have us for August. Um, so the new 2024 and 2025 celebrity cruise um, incentives, so it's a trust of $150 onboard credit, bonus commission, or celebrity awards. Rewards. So the retreat suites, you get $150 uh, um, dollars in onboard credit. Aqua and Concierge, $125 per stateroom credit. Um, Veranda, $100 per stateroom credit. Ocean View and Inside, $75 per stateroom credit. And so your booking window is going to be August the 1st through August the 31st, okay? And then so um, if you guys can read this, um, there is the redeem code, all right? So that is Celebrity. All right, who is this? Explora. So, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Explora just turned one years old. Um, yep, Explora turns one on August the 1st. Um, they're special. So guests will receive um, $365 in um, euros um, for the journey experience credits per suite when you book um, the month of August. So new, it's for new bookings made between the 1st and the 31st of August, 2024, on all available journey selling from um, the 23rd of August are eligible, right? Um, over here, exceptional savings for past guests. Past guests can enjoy um, savings up to 15%. Um, over here, they have these unique escapes. Um, let's see. They have a reduced deposit of 10%. Um, they have penthouse dreams over here, so you can book the penthouse. Let's see. Enjoy a complimentary one um, category upgrade to an ocean penthouse when you book by August the 31st. Hmm, I like that. All right. They got some more things going on, but I like that. Have you guys um checked out Explore yet? Oh, Lord, let me see. Excuse me. All right, let's keep going. All right, British Airways via Centrav is having a webinar. I like British Airways. Do y'all like British Airways? All right, let's talk about it. All right, so webinar, live webinar for British Airways is coming up on August 14th right here, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you guys want to jump into that webinar, oh, Lord, I wonder how long have I? Y'all, I'm going to go all the way back because I'm just not realizing that I was not sharing my tab. I'm not even going to do that to y'all. Let me go back. I was all the way over here. Can't believe it in shit. All right, so let me see. Share this tab. All right. So let, we're going to do the Delta. So over here, this is the Delta webinar. So August the 8th, August the 15th, the 20th, 22nd. 27 and the 29th. Let's see. And that was the serenade of the sea. Let's see. I can't believe I wasn't sharing the tab. Same on me. All right. This was the one for Patagonia. And their webinar is on August the 8th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And down here, um, the webinar be, um, will be held by Emerging Destination. All right. And then here is the incentive for um, Celebrity Cruise with Ms. Taylor. 
And then over here, it tells you right here, $150 for stateroom, $125 for the aqua and concierge, veranda, $100 stateroom credit, ocean view and inside. And then this is the link right here. I know I was saying that you guys can read the link. Well, this is the link. Okay. And then over here, this is the Explorer one. Right, see 365 euros per suite. And then the booking window is between August the 1st and August the 31st. All right. And let's keep on going. And then over here is that Centrav webinar. It is for August the 14th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay. So let's see. Come on. All right. So I think that that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Travel Tea Tuesday. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys need anything, don't forget to call us, text us, and cut some kind of smoke signal because we are not mind readers. But until our very next Travel Tea Tuesday, we will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>